I've been modeling since I was 15, mm -hmm. and I'd have a unibrow since I was like literally a baby. I've had one. The one thing that I should textbook be insecure about is not what is making me insecure, it's what empowers me. I posted a selfie and it landed on the Explore page and that's when it went from 10,000 people knew who I was to a million people. It's frustrating when people say she's only doing this for attention. Like, I, I, I was doing this when I had like 800 followers and no one cared. It's more so a preference thing. I just don't like the way my eyebrows look groomed. My dad is Greek from Cyprus and my mom. People in Cyprus are just generally hairy people. Well, here comes the sun. Ever since I was little, I was bullied. I would get teased all the time. Bullied to the point of crying in the bathroom, eating my lunch on the toilet. I started the Unibrow Movement in an effort to make young people feel safe on the internet if they were different. I know a lot of people that feel as though they have to put on makeup for a picture or they have to face tune their picture because they're scared of judgment. People can use this hashtag, click on it, and see a bunch of like-minded individuals and feel safe and not judge. It's all about empowering everyone to just embrace who they really are. I don't want people to necessarily imitate me. That's like not the goal. The goal is for them to just do whatever they want. If that means shaving their eyebrows when they see me, do it. I'm known for my sunglasses campaign, but I've also done shoes, clothes, Maybe like one of these was like, yeah, oh man, so good. We challenge a lot of ideas about beauty and fashion, and we like to work with people who share that same idea. The more glitter, the better. You definitely need to be bold to rock Discount Universe, and we really felt that Sophia embodied that perfectly. A lot of it has been brands via Instagram DM. Now we're starting to see some more serious like, offers come in through like, larger brands. She's more than just an Instagram model. There's hurtful comments all the time, and it's important to know how to react. It should always be, that's totally okay if you feel that way, but I do want you to see why I'm doing this and what it's made me. I've changed so many perspectives. So many of the harshest people online have become some of my biggest supporters since I've just sent them one message back. It's nothing tangible. It is nothing in terms of press. It is just knowing that there could be someone across the world in a country where there's barely even any technology that knows who I am and that looks up to me. That's incredible to me.